ready right now to drop the drivetrain out of it, not the rear end. We're going to run the original rear end. Once we get that out, then uh, Ron from Magnum Force is going to come up, and we're going to start mocking in the 392 Hemi and the yeah. and the K frame and all that Magnum Force stuff. So let's rock it out. Rock nope. down to Electric Avenue. Then we take it higher. No, it's just another day. I mean, I love working with my dad so much, so like always, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I love Chris Jacobs 68 GTX. Really cool car. Of course, Chip Foose paint job. I'm a big fan of overhauling. I actually loved watching the show and seeing that car. I mean, it actually looks like it's going 90 miles an hour sitting still. Really a cool paint job. It's got the Foose fade on it and everything else. So it's really neat to see that. And of course, Chris Jacobs, awesome guy, you know big Mopar fan. You know, it's so great having him in the shop and sharing car stories with him and stuff. So it's really super cool to have his car in here. I can't wait to dig into it. Did you want to do the shock nuts now? Or oh, you yeah, want to do before them? we raise it up? Yeah, just because just we're here? I got it on that electric ratchet okay. on there. Should be a 9 It's kind of the opposite that we usually do in yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. I got Alyssa, take the uh, nuts off the shocks. What are you doing? I got most of that. Have? I could probably okay, pull these usually, wheels off here. No, no, I, I was just explaining to the audience Not what a today. shock is. No, you weren't. Okay. okay, you see this doohickey here? Yeah, I see that doohickey. Take that doohickey nut off of there. These awesome foos wheels here, huh? They're kind of neat, though. Oh, no, they're they totally cool. To on them. I love that. I love five spokes anyway. That looks they're just nostalgic looking. You know? Oh, he's already got bare brakes on it. Big yeah, brakes. see, what's cool is he's got factory spindles, so those will go right on Ron's. On the Magnum Force stuff. Exactly. Well, that'll make an easy task yeah, out of that Yeah, that'll make it nice, so we can oh, utilize yeah. his brakes and everything. So, yeah, it's going to be so cool being in SEMA with this car. That is going to be really yeah. cool. Having Chris Jacobs present it too. That's yeah, awesome. Really cool, huh? Really cool because well, overhauling was my favorite car show. I know, so I the fact it. that this car came from there, that's that's How awesome. Cool is that? I know. You want to take off that top one on the line that's got the spring on it? Yep. Okay. But you got to kind of feed it in there. Got it. Oh. Looking good. Get out of here. I'm just. No. I'm walking here. Go ahead. What are you doing? No, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're learning how to do a, a brake line. Is it broke loose already? So all you gotta do is get it to a point where you can do it by hand. Hey, hello. See, there you go. Now, flizz and plasm. Flizzoo. Beautiful. Pull it up out. There you go. Okay. Looking good. Alyssa learning how to no, R and I some nobody, stuff on a car. Fake affirmation. Hi, chairs. Might as well make myself comfortable if I'm gonna be watching the whole time. Let's see how annoying I can be. <laughs> yeah, where are you going? Alyssa, are you okay on the chair? Yeah. Okay, following good. Following you. Come up, a little more, a little more, right there. Okay. So, K member bolts, and we're done. And we're done. You got your impact? Yep. Oh, great. Ah. It's tight. All right, what we're going to do is just kind of watch everything and see okay. how it goes, you know? Yep, it should. All right, hold up. By the way, did you dookie? No, that was fun. It's probably your upper lip. Okay, tray down. Now that we have the drivetrain on the ground, once we get a couple pieces off under the hood, we'll be able to send it down to the body shop. There's a patch that needs to go in the left apron. There's a few holes that need to be welded up. It needs to be stripped down to the bare metal, primered, painted in some kind of a base so that his flame guy can come up and start working on his realistic flames.